this is the infamous green room where stars and everybody else will take place while delegations um, will sing. Um, all delegations have their place here doing the competition and uh, wait for later than the results. Probably have a big party once somebody won. Here we are in uh, Ground Control City um, where we in new age have uh, the control of all the follow spots we have in this arena which is fantastic for rigging too because we have no people falling down. That's fantastic. We have the f new system, the long throw, four, four of them and we have 14 bad boys. They till now work very good and we have fantastic time with them. So on a guided tour we finally made it to front of house. Um, we love to call it Kingdom of Love or uh, Jerry Apple's uh, main control room, the bridge, like Starship Enterprise. And yeah, that's where we control basically the whole show from like from lighting, uh, 3D mapping, uh, video, LED aspects, everything is controlled from here. And the guys were the happy programming at the moment and uh, yeah, make it look beautiful. I'm Jerry Appelt, I'm the responsible lighting designer for this event and director of photography. I'm in charge for the lighting of all delegation entries and opening and interval acts for this Eurovision. My team consists of nine members. Matthias Rau as my gaffer, Markus Runke for key lights, Ike Berger for spot calls, then I have Raphael De Monti as main show lighting operator, Raphael Griebenstein for audience lights, Sebastian Huvig for their servers and Nick the Greek as a server farmer. And of course Andreas Türpe who is my assistant LD at the show floor. And not to forget Jon van Loog as my head rigger and second guy on the floor. This is my third Eurovision. I've done uh, of course Düsseldorf uh, 2011 and Azerbaijan in 2012. And that's my third one now and hopefully not my last one. Finally, we're in backstage here. That's the preparation area for all the singers we have from the delegations. Um, they come in from uh, Hall 1, which is delegation area, and then they move over here, get microphone, get ready, have a last prayer before we go, and then uh, it gets out on stage. Yeah, PRG uh, pretty much lights up all the areas, including backstage. We make it happen even here, so people have to be happy and get ready so they can be great on stage. This is the infamous uh, backstage with a we'll say system organization of LEDs, all LED systems basically. Schnick schnack over there, basically LED wall over here. Regardless which LED wall is, if it's not working, the call will come to these guys and they will fix it for the guys from front of house so they can basically show everything they want to have. And it looks beautiful. That's their job. And it looks fantastic like always. Love them, by the way. And we see here from the back our beautiful LED wall from the back side. And uh, we have the matrix right in front of it. It's a... Uh, LED matrix wall is LED fixtures. Uh, it's more than 600 LED fixtures uh, combined to one matrix to shine through the LED wall, which is a nice lighting effect from the back. Here we are at the, our main LED horizon, uh, 70 meter wide uh, video wall, uh, consisting of MC12, MC18, MC7. State of the art product to uh, show video content behind the stage. I think it's a fantastic wall. Uh, we had until now nearly no problems, so. Yeah, that's what you can use and I hope everybody can see a great picture doing the show and make himself his own picture. over 200 trucks of gear here, uh, including the 450 tons of grandstand that we built for, it, for this event. Um, have 1,816 active lighting fixtures, uh, total weight of 212 tons of rigged equipment in the ceiling, so we're at 70% of the roof capacity. 
overall, we're very happy with the venue, I might add, um, because there's not that many venues in the world where you can hang 212 tons and still be rather safe with it. We have 256 speakers, 200 microphones, 1,000 square meters of LED, 56 high output projectors. So it's, it's a big machinery, uh, but it's fun. Welcome to the end of the backstage tour. This is the PRG Lightcom compound. This is where everybody is, let's say, housing. Like we have the lighting office, uh, we have the rigging office, power office, all the guys here, Schnickschnack office. Um, that's where they do all the work, basically, the groundwork, like repair fixtures, getting stuff ready, changing drawings, changing plans, making plans for the next day so people meet or basically just sit and have a coffee. So that's the place where all PRG magic happens, I would say.